Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. Excuse me. Uh, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. As soon as I come on now, I got a burp. I got a something in my throat. It's Aquarius. I don't know what's going on. Maybe you can't talk or someone wants to tell you something. They can't talk to you. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see what's going on. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. All right. So let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So the cards that I got for you, Aquarius, is I don't even know how to pronounce this word. I'm going to say Quinix. Anyway, you somebody will get down. It's complexity, okay? And then we have the first house, which is self, all right? And then we have Neptune, which are dreams. It could be spirituality also. We have semi-sextile, so allowing. And then I think we got this another reading back. We got Chiron, healing, okay? That's at the bottom of the deck. So Aquarius, it looks like. What happened for you is um, some chaotic complexity or complex situation happened in your life, but it pushed you to maybe kind of drill down on self, reflect on self, change self, look at self, look at God, look at spirituality. It kind of pushed you to spirituality because something, the complexity of this situation that you were in, the only thing you can't fix it is God. It's like you can't fix it or something outside of you. You need help with this, right? So it pushed you to asking the questions of why, what for, why come, why me, you know, and so forth. It's allowing for you to um, maybe use your intuition, see the potential in, see the potential in you, the potential in the situation, maybe to transmute energy. It also is allowing you to maybe redefine, rewrite your life philosophy, maybe even your self-image. And this is like a gateway, a portal. The universe is giving you an opportunity to see something differently so that you can rewrite the story, rewrite the narrative, become the victor and not the victim. All right. Um, it can have something to do with healing in regards to your physical body, learning how this is like metaphor physical or you know, like um something like herbology or herbalist or holistic medicine or something of that nature maybe you're going to go into look into that you may even be getting some downloads you got like a lot of spiritual and intuitive energy um you come into a place of consciousness like awareness Okay, I think in the last reading we talked about self-awareness, Aquarius not being self-aware of how Aquarius is perceived, how people are experiencing you, right? So you're coming to a place of consciousness. You're coming out of base consciousness, which would be the devil card. And some of you are ascending to um, what they would term as Christ consciousness or higher level of consciousness, right? You're coming into the world energy, all right? So um. With dreams here, you're understanding that uh, maybe through visions, meditate. Some of you are getting a lot of downloads through visions, meditation. Some of you are really like tapping into your psychic abilities. You know, um, what I was getting for you off camera, uh, Aquarius, and for myself, your your gifts, your talent, your gifts will make a way for you. You know, I don't I don't know what that means for you. Your gifts will make a way for you. So it's like. Um, maybe there's something you do very well. It's going to make a way for you to you fill in the blank. I don't know. Um, but there's something happened to you, something complex, something that irritated, frustrated you in the past, in the now, whatever. And, and it caused for you to have to go through some deep healing because Chiron is about deep healing, right? Um, um, amendments, making amends, okay, and releasing. So it's like you got to go backwards before you can go forward. I don't know, like you got to go deal with the stuff that you were walking away from, running away from, didn't want to deal with. Now you got to go and deal with it. More than anything, you want understanding because the left side of my head is hurting. So, like, the left brain logic 
you want to make it make sense. It just doesn't make sense that they did or they can't admit or they whatever. I don't know. It's like you just want to make it make sense. It doesn't make sense. The math is not mathing. It doesn't. This is this is incorrect. So um, you're coming to a place of um, maybe needing to heal and amend some situations, relationships where um. It just, you just didn't understand. It just didn't make sense as to why, right? All right? So let's see what's going on. So it looks like this is going to be a deep one. All right, let's see what's happening for the Aquarius. Okay, the Seven of Swords. So you, again, you, like you want to understand the psyche. Seven talks about mastery, trickery, right? Magic. Um, seven is a perfect number. We have seven days of the week. You have seven chakras, seven dimensions, seven real colors. Um, you know, seven is, is is the number of perfection. It's also the whole man. Or, and this is also like um, awareness, okay? Um, I don't know, maybe you've become aware that somebody was uh, deceiving you. There was deception here. You endured a lot. There was like a lot you endured. Somebody could have been acting in a very cunning, deceptive way. This could be like um, maybe even like feminine, negative vibration of feminine energy. Like that. So the a negative connotation of feminine energy is cunning, is to be sly, slick, to to um, strategy. Um, masquerade okay because women typically don't have possess brute force like we aren't built like our counterparts we you know um, so we have to use the intellect when we want to overcome and most times that's in the negative vibration if we want to win we have to use you know um, trickery manipulation cunning so it looks like somebody was in a lower vibration here Seven of Swords could be feminine, could have been a woman, could be a man. I don't know. It, and, it, and men could operate in this lower vibration too, of you know, um, being cunning, being slick, being sly. You see, as he's he is a sneaking away from camp. He's leaving those two swords, so that partnership behind to take these five swords. The five is about chaos. Okay, the five pointed star. That's the devil. That's the Luciferian. You know, so it's, it's so it's uh you know it's um ulterior an ulterior motive. So this is somebody here who was um this could have been about a love affair. Somebody was childish. Um, somebody was a liar, deceptive. You know, all together they wanted to be alone or be the lone wolf, or they were gonna leave you holding the bag as he's sneaking away from camp looking backwards to make sure that he is, you know, going undetected. That's what this card says. I don't know if you feel like there was like strategy to keep you in in something or somebody was strategizing against you. You could even feel like it was like friends because sometimes the Seven of Swords can talk about loss of friendship or you need to lose some of those friends. Or you feel like friends are talking behind your back, going with other people, talking about you. Or vice versa, this is what you're doing. This is Aquarius, third deacon Aquarius. So this would be like the February last uh, last stint of Aquarius. So February, late February Aquarius. Could be like having like a Pisces, uh, like a cusper, if you will. This is somebody who was gaining power by, by trickery. Because, you know, like, okay, so I can either gain power by being strategic and upright and forthcoming or I can trick you right and so somebody who gained power by by trickery they mystified you they puzzled you they complicated you they contradicted what they said there's clashes okay this behavior this activity that you were in and this could even be a relationship of some sort romantic business marriage i don't know um it just you need answers 
it mystifies you. You know what I'm saying? You need somebody to translate this so you just don't understand why somebody was so this way with you. Cunning, deceptive, you know, strategic. You feel like this was the plan all along. Again, back to feminine energy. I don't know. It's like somebody could have been in a marriage and they felt like maybe the woman or the feminine energy. Just call it a feminine energy because I know we're dealing with same sex and so forth. Um, the feminine energy was um, a liar, deceptive, had a plan, was strategic all along from the beginning, from the jump. It didn't start at year one. It didn't start at year two, year three. It started from day one. This was somebody who came with ulterior motive. And all the entire time that they were with you, they were trying to get away with. I hope they don't see me. Look how he looks. I hope they don't realize that I'm, I'm pulling the biggest farce, the biggest heist um, on them. I'm taking from them. That happens in so many different ways. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, of course I can go in your purse, steal your money, your cards, whatever. I can go in your wallet, take everything out of your wallet, out of your wallet, and um, I've got your your money, right? Um, but I also can sit around you. I can listen to what you say. I can look at your mannerisms. I can um, soak up all that good energy. I can take your positive energy. Maybe I am negative in, in every right. I can just soak up that, that positivity. It, it feeds me. It feeds my ego. You lift me up. You know, I need that. So, so theft happens in so many different ways. And then also the theft of, you know, um, just deception. Telling you something that is a complete lie. You know, because then you'll stay and I can promise you something and never deliver. And you'll always stay, right? You'll always keep coming back or you'll stay in that position because you're waiting for the promise, right, to be fulfilled. It's like showing up to work. You're anticipating getting paid on Friday. Friday comes around. Look at the direct deposit. There's no pay. You still go to work. They promise you, okay, next Friday, we just had some a snafu. Everything will be together. You'll have double pay, you know, next Friday. So you keep showing up. And next Friday, same shit. You know, and it's just like, okay, well, I've done all this work. I might as well just continue to stay in it. And they said, okay, not this Friday. But they're promising, you know, the following Friday. Okay, okay, I'll stay in it. So I, I keep promising you things. And I never deliver most people stay in it because they feel like, well, it's already work expended. I've already spent my time. Same deal with this relationship. Somebody was, you know, like calculated and how they would get somebody hooked. The trickery, mastery, all right? So it mystified you or they mystified you. They puzzled you or it puzzles you how they could do this. Um, maybe when you had so much love, devotion for this connection. Let's see what the first house talks about. All right, so that card wanted to flip out. Wow, seven, a seven again, seven of pentacles. So now this was a tough lesson because this is Saturn. So now there's going to be separation between you and said individual, right? Um, one second, I'm looking for something. Just in case. I'm looking for my... Um, what am I looking for? I am looking for, okay, here it is. All right, found it. In this case, I've got to change out the battery. You know how that goes if you've been here long enough. <laughs> Anyhow, um, first house, this is you, all right? You need to welcome something new in your life. And this was a tough lesson for you to learn that somebody tricked you mystified you, played a game with you, was deceptive in nature. They were the lone wolf all along. They never really wanted to be a partner to you or to anybody else. Um, now you, you have to learn this lesson. Um, Saturn, Seven of Pentacles, it talks about restriction. 
Okay, now, now the universe is restricting you to move forward is what I just heard. Then you got to sit in the lesson, learn the lesson, go backwards. And they want you to draw the dots, connect the dots as to what's happening here. Because it's a direct parallel to something in the past or something that has maybe historical reference, maybe even generational reference. The Seven of Pentacles here, it talks about you needing to look at self and maybe even reevaluate self. This talks about passivity. Is that a word? Um, somebody was way too passive in a connection. That's why this happened. The Seven of Swords. Way too pat. So you're allowing something. Oh, semi-sextile. Allowing. Some of you are way too passive. You let too much shit slide. And you made too much concession for it. Well, you know, uh, uh well, and they grew up on the wrong side of the tracks and well, seven of pentacles. So now you got to, you've got to learn lesson here as to, this is also about planting seeds somewhere. And it's just about what we talked about, planting seeds somewhere in hopes that you'll get the 10 of pentacles, that you'll get repayment or paid or payback, or it'll turn into something real. Hoping that, keep showing up, hoping that the job will pay you. Not this Friday, but next Friday. So passive. Being paid with promise and being rewarded with nothing. Now you're coming to an awakening, to some consciousness, okay? Or the universe is hoping that you do this. Because this is mastery of self, right? So the universe is saying, I hope that you learn this lesson so you can master self. I'm getting that for some of you, you need to learn. Um, some of you need to learn how to love, okay? What does that mean? Um, so love, devotion, respect, honor, regard is earned, okay? Just like, so... We just talked about, we gave the scenario of you showing up to the job. They say they're going to pay you. They don't pay you. They promise you next Friday. Then next Friday comes. They do the same thing. Okay. You, in between not getting paid, right? You did the work. You earned the income. They just didn't give it to you. So what it's saying is you need to learn how to love or give love. People have to earn your devotion Earn your love. Earn your um, your regard, your respect. You can't just give it away freely. Because when you give things away freely, people don't value it. It's been statistically proven. When things are given away for free, people don't value it. What's the first thing you say when, let's say, you got a free coffee mug, right, from work? And... Your girlfriend, your friend comes over to have tea with you and y'all put a little something, something in that tea and maybe she drops the mug and it breaks. And she's sorry and she's like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And you're like, girl, that was what? That was free. You don't value it. So it's a, it's an art and it's a science to paying for something or adding, ascribing value to it, right? So when you give something to somebody and they didn't have to earn it, they think, oh, shit, well, it don't mean anything. And maybe they give it to everybody. Some of you need to learn how to love and learn how to make people earn your devotion, your respect, your regard, your love. Because some of you just give it away. And, and the person you're giving it away to or the people, you're give, they're saying, oh, well, it must not mean a lot. You know, it's shit, I just got it for free. I ain't even have to earn this. Like, that's what... Hey, you know, so, so you might be mystified as to how they will play this trick on you or take advantage of you for some of you and always keep that in mind. Take even, you know, the takeaway you can take away from this is always make people, especially if you have something of value, um, 
it's yours, you know, uh, or you made it, or you, or you, you would like to sell it. Um, definitely, if you created it, make people pay for it, even if they pay one dollar, four quarters for it. Make people pay for it because they will value it more. It's not about just taking somebody's money, but it's the act of, I want you to value it, right? I don't want you to devalue what I've just what we're exchanging here. I don't want you to say, oh, that was free. If I give you a sofa, really nice one, you know, uh, I just give it to you. It's really nice. Just get here, you know, give it to you. Um, you'll be inclined to take care of it, you know, as, as much as possible. But if any mishap were to happen, Someone spills something on it or maybe it tears or I don't know, there could be a rip or whatever. You'll always in your mind, you'll, you'll go back to, oh, well, great, I didn't pay for it. Well, well, it was free. Now, if you had to pay for that sofa, it would mean more. You would take care of it better. You would scotch guard it. You would make sure people don't sleep on it. Don't sit on it too hard or whatever, you know. So it's something about value, you know, you've, you, you have to kind of ascribe value to yourself and to your love and to your devotion when you give it away so freely, when you're just really so like so open and ready to give to people who haven't even shown or proven that they are worth it. They don't value it. So, um, let's keep moving. So, um, Wow. So now we get the page of cups with the devil. So we talked about that. The five of swords over here. He's running from the five is Luciferian because it keeps you in chaos. Right. You're coming out of like base consciousness and just existing. And maybe you're coming into a higher consciousness of understanding yourself, understanding how to operate in relationship, in life and business and career, whatever. Yeah. Maybe even maybe like developing your clairvoyance or developing your emotional maturity. Understanding that you just can't give to everybody. You know, um, you can't romance the devil. You can't dance with the devil. You know, that's that's a losing battle. You don't engage. That's what you do. Um. Again, we got Saturn coming up, Capricorn. Capricorn could be somebody's rising here. Somebody could be pregnant. That's just a side note. Anybody can be pregnant, right? Now. Um. Sacrifice here. You know, this is, um, um, it might be Bell or it might be, uh, Moloch. He accepts child sacrifice. Um, but we'll just keep the operative word sacrifice. So when you dance with the devil, when you make the bad choice, right, um, of getting entangled, entrapment. Um, you got to sacrifice something, right? Most times it's your freedom, right? Because you're, this like a chaotic energy. Let me tell you something. The, the more chaotic and confused any person is, the easily, you know, easily, they are easily controlled, okay? And that's why the world keeps us so occupied and preoccupied with frivol frivolous things or Frivolity. You know, you roll over in the morning, you look at the phone, you just, you stay on it for as long as you can until you can get up. And then you try to, you know, um, some of you, hell, some of you got waterproof phones. You get in the shower with the phone. Like, you know, so it's just base consciousness. So it's like some of you are awakening to, to self, you know, um, you're coming out of um, fantasy and escapism illusion because sometimes neptune 
Pisces could be dealing with Pisces could be, you know, um, could be indicative of that, or is associated with um, Neptune. Pisces is the last sign, so something about the last. This is the last time, or this should be the last, the last sign, or the last. The last test, because Saturn talks about test. Like, will you fail? Will you pass? It's like the universe trying to give you a message that it's you. It's you. It's you. You are allowing. Okay? Maybe even encouraging. This could be even indicative of somebody being an enabler. Or um, codependent. You know, um, to be in these old toxic drama filled relationships. Um, I know it feeds something about you. Also, it talks about with the devil card when when two people just will not learn the lesson as to why they met one another. And it's not for you to go to the other person and say, hey, hey, hey you got to learn the lesson. And is what no, you get your lesson if they never get it, move on. That's get into the habit of asking yourself, Did God tell me to do that? The, you'll start to govern yourself a lot better, you know, because some of you it's unsolicited. I don't know, that was for somebody. Going to people, saying things, doing things, trying to prompt people, trying to, did God tell me to do that? Most times it'll be no. And that's when you just fall back. You just completely just walk away. Somebody was like, just unaware to the esoteric, to the occult, to the tarot, to spirituality, to the divine realm. Like now they're coming into consciousness and like really understanding. Yeah. With the page of cups here. Understanding that maybe um, some relationship was a cycle or, or, or that you're in some cycle. When you're in a cycle, that means you're in a circle, right? Who wants to go in a circle? If I told you to walk in a circle right now, you what the fuck for? Like, no. So when you find yourself in a cycle, it's never good. You know, things should be, there should be start and ending. Alpha and omega. It's never just continuous, 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 continuous saying it's not even continuous good for it rains on the just and the unjust you know um the wheel is always turning you got ups you got downs it's just about how you you get through the circumstances right some of you need to learn how to release something sacrifice coming up too like inherited issues so this will be like generational curse if you want to go that, you know, it's pretty cliche now to hear that, but it can be, um, because you, if you, if you take a step back and look at your life, it, it'll draw a parallel to maybe your mother, to your father, to your grandmother, to your great grandmother, to you, if you know the story, right? And then some of you I'm hearing like foster or adopt it. Damn, I can't even make this up. It says generational trauma. Shame. Yeah, you need to, like, forgive. Some of you who don't know your family lineage, you might need to pull that. You need to, you know, that needs to be something you do. Some of you haven't really forgiven, let go of. And that's okay, because I think we talked about if you're not over it, you're not over it. And, and that's the an answer to, I'm just not over it, you know? Doesn't mean I won't ever get over it, I'm just not over it. 
shout out to those people who actually typed in the comment section. I'm not over it. That takes a lot to actually admit that because we lie to ourselves all the time. And if you're not over it, type that down in the comment section right now. I'm not over it. Just not over it. It's too much. I'm trying to deal with it, but I'm just not over it. All right? Yeah. Volunteer. So you might need to go talk to somebody. You might need to do some benevolent work, alms, you know, pay it forward. Could be from, if you're in the United States, the state of Tennessee, the volunteer state. I heard you volunteered to come here. Some of you out of worldly, you're an alien. Beautiful. Whoa. You saw that came out. Adult children, yeah, so. All right, so, you, of course, you're an adult, most of you here. Um, You might need to go backwards, deal with some parental issues. A health care change. You need to get a second or third opinion. You need to have a, another sit down with somebody also. Join in. Yep, you need to in person. I heard this will be a part of your physical healing also. So some of you are having health related issues because you're still holding on to resentment, regret, remorse, grudges. And, and again, it can all be valid. No one's saying that your story is not true. But it's, in, it's the cards are saying, what are you going to do with it? You know, so some of you. Yeah, wow, I can't make it moving. You just need to move, 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 move on. Some of you have to make a physical move. Go to heal the past to heal yourself. This is all, this is, this card, this is going to, okay, so that's, that's funny. This card talks about having, um, um, what is it? I can't think of the words now. Um, a moving emotional experience. And it might be just that you're having a conversation with someone. And it's going to be extremely moving. Move you to tears. Move you to healing. Wow. Wow. Look what's going to move you to. This one to show its face. Changing your mind. Maybe about how you look at this person. It's some shit you don't know. You know? You had your mind made up about this person. But this card talks about like newfound knowledge. Like you finding out something and it kind of, it adds perspective. It changes the perspective. It allows for semi-sextile. It allows for... Um, healing and it allows for maybe empathy, apathy, whatever um, sympathy to happen between you and said individual or individuals. What else do we have here for Aquarius? This this is deep because if you take this. And you follow what the cards are saying. Your life changes. You're at a halt. At a pause. Because you need to do it. You need to deal with it. You're in restriction. The seven of pentacles. It's like the universe has. Because sometimes the seven of pentacles can talk about impregnation. Is that a, Am I saying that right? Anyway. Being pregnant. Right? Um, but not necessarily like pregnant in the form of a baby is growing inside of you. But it's like the universe trying to implant something in you so that it can mature, grow, and then um, you can release it to the world. You can um, become the empress. Wow. So you, your heart can heal. You can help other people heal. 
you got something in you, Aquarius, that um, it can't come out until you do this deep healing, though. Or you go backwards. You got to have some type of conversation you've been running from. Or you've been running from the past. Or you've been running from it's something that was shameful. You need to release it. This talks about personal development. Like, develop you. Ace of Wands. Up for the challenge. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, yeah, Page of Swords. You've been... You've been ducking and dodging this conversation. You don't want to talk to this person. You as little as possible, as little communication as possible, because too much will it's gonna just cause argument, friction, drama. You could be the subject of gossip right now. Because there's a lot going on with you. Like transition. The five of cups. You could be going through some some tough circumstances, a setback. In your life something okay so if it's setting you back then it means it's setting you up for it. it's life happening for you or to you always look at it that way I know I know I know it's easier said than done when you're losing things or you got to let go of things or you got to release or you got to sacrifice things that you value um but is it setting you up or is it set you know is it setting you up for something better? So you gotta look at it. Don't stay again, the five energy is chaos and luciferian. For it rains on the just and the unjust. So you may feel like you're a good person. You may be a good person. But it rains on the just and the under. I think I gave that analogy in the last reading where, where the person was like complaining. Oh, it's raining outside. Well, it's raining for everybody. Like, isn't it just raining over you? There's no cloud over you. Um, Learn how to mitigate these circumstances. A smile should be on your face even in the toughest circumstances. It says, confuse thy enemy. We know that our enemy is the adversary, is Luciferian, is the devil, is all things toxic, unhealthy, bad. We don't want to be in the energy of, I can't put a smile on my face because I don't have this or have that or I lost this, or I lost that. C Praise confuses the enemy. Praising God. Praising God for what has already what has not happened. Call those things that be not into existence. I am healed. I am better. I am strong. I do have a new house. I will have a new car. Call those things that be not into existence. Confuse thy enemy, but don't let the enemy see you in this. This is like deep healing also from the past. Um, missing someone or feeling like you missed out. Wanting to recover a relationship or recover something. Someone's also wanting to recover something with you, Aquarius. It could be a Scorpio person. It could be anybody. These two pages here tell me the timing is off. This not the right time. The page so pages are messages and typically could be younger people. And we know that younger people always want to do stuff fast or the timing is typically off. They run into your room and you're half dressed or you get frisky with your husband or your wife and it's like here come the kids. So it says that the timing is off. Like somebody wants to do something, it's not the right time. If not ever, I don't know. You know, the timing is off. You got to go and do something first. He has a star card, so it's directly related to the strength card, Gubira, Guburu. I I can never pronounce that, but anyway, um.
some of you need to heal heal the rage the anger from the past of a previous relationship whether it be romantic platonic familiar whatever she's releasing so releasing water you need to release those emotions some of you keeping it bottled up and you've isolated yourself the stars are up in the sky they come out at night you can see a cluster of stars but not really most stars are kind of lone like the lone star right so maybe you, you've isolated yourself from what hurt you. It could be family. It could be a feminine energy. It could have something to do with um, somebody taking money. Money's coming up. It could have something to do with family, lineage, money, other people's money, inheritance, a large sum of money. Like You feel like something puts you on a different path. If that thing wouldn't have happened, then you would be somewhere else in life, in general. This also talks about deep soul healing. Seven chakras. She's typically got seven stars around her on most ta uh, tarot decks. So it talks about the perfection of self or perfecting yourself, healing yourself, the ego. Some of you need to learn compassion because you don't know it. The only way you know compassion is to be vulnerable. And you won't even allow yourself to be vulnerable. You won't allow your true self to emerge because something is in you Aquarius you don't trust it or you feel like it won't be received it won't be well received or there's still a sense of um, insecurity with self because the star card talks about truly ex accepting self being naked before the world before the star up in the sky The stars come out in the dark. In, in the darkest time, you know, there is light. You were somebody's like light in their dark in the because they dark. Okay, so dark and light, light and dark. Yeah. You like to drink light liquor. They like to drink dark liquor. I don't know which. No. Um. This is like the earth angel, you know, um, some of you, you can't, you chose to come to her, volunteer to go through this walk. And now you're going to have reunion with who you really are. Hmm. You have two of pentacles, like you're changing. Something is still up in the air. Intuitive awareness by way of learning or doing something. Doing something at the same time. Practicing it and learning. Reading a book while you're on the subway, the bus. Listening to this tarot card reading. Taking something from it, hopefully, while you're at work, you know. But you're in the midst of change. You're in the midst of something becoming made like solid. Um, getting some like breakthrough. What is this? Ah, I can't make it up. Breakthrough. Ten of Swords. So you're understanding, again, generation, generational curse. You're understanding
You're understanding this failure, this collapse, this volatile situation that you call your life. You're understanding the ups and the downs. You're understanding why you're here. Some of you, you had to go back to somewhere. I don't know, you had to go back home, had to move back home. Something about generation, something about the family, something about dealing with that, and then you can move forward. It's like, um, I don't know if you've ever played Monopoly and then you then I tell you to go five spaces back. And you're like, I don't want to do that, you know, because I'm going to land on somebody's property and I'm going to owe them money and so forth, you know. But for you at this time, it's like, I don't want to go back because I don't want to deal with these people. I don't want to deal with that person. I don't want to deal with those issues. But it says this will allow for you to come out of like the cycle, the 10 year run or the 10, whatever. I don't know the run of what you may deem as bad luck. And you can come out of feeling like you're the martyr or being overly dramatic about this situation. You can come into power because this person feels like a loss of power or powerless. You can let something in for you, the Ten of Swords. Something is broken. The chain is broken. Now you get to do something over. You get to recreate. I know it's like the universe really trying to break down so you can have a breakthrough. Seven of Pentacles in a different day. Yeah, so you can learn some lesson here. It's like the universe puts you in a place of isolation and maybe restriction. So now you can awaken to with the uh, Neptune card. It's like the, the divine trying to talk to you. Hey, hey, listen. This is to shape you, form you, mold you into the person that you're supposed to be. This is not happening to you, but it's happening for you. The only way that you would listen to, that you would get it, is if you got to this place of breakdown, of absolute collapse, calamity, failure. If everything was right in life, you'd never come to divinity. There's some things in this life that the only way you're going to fix it is through God. Through God, um, you know, God's help, love, consciousness, a Christ consciousness about yourself. Understanding self, understanding cycles, understanding mastery of self. So it's like the universe is like, hey, 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 come on, get the lesson so that we can move you forward in the right way. I knew this was coming. King of Swords. So you can get the truth of the matter. So you can start to make. Oh, OK, so. Sometimes you got to go in the head. Sometimes you got to go in the heart. You got to know when to make a head over heart decision. Some of you have just been way too emo or too... There's been no balance. There's no temperance. You're not... You're not knowing when to pull from feminine or masculine energy. You're just always pulling from feminine or you're always pulling from masculine. There's no balance. Therefore, you, you, don't, you, you get an injustice or an imbalance in life. Or you get people treating you unjust, unfair. Or this is what you're doing. Yeah, maybe even overthinking. Chaos of the mind. Your whole philosophy about life is breaking down, is shifting. You thought you could do it yourself, and it's like lean on the everlasting hand. 
Because this is the king closest to God. Hard or hook or hud. New spiritual path. Two of cups. What's coming for Aquarius? Some of you, this is like a deep dive into change your whole life. And then, looks like you'll be happier. What happens if Aquarius takes the advice of these cards? Five, six, seven. All right, let's see what happens if Aquarius takes the advice of the cards. Okay. You come out of frivolity. You come out of um, just like carelessness. You understand. You have an understanding, a better understanding. Wow, faithfulness. Very nice. Recompense is what I heard. So you get rewarded for being faithful. Um, maybe to your spiritual practice too. Like coming to an enlightenment. Wow, you get a gift, Aquarius, from the universe. What else does Aquarius get? Wow. You get knowledge, the scholar, of how to do something every day or what you do every day. Or you get knowledge of how to, how to fall. You get knowledge of who is contrary to you, who is in direct comparison to you, who is maybe even stealing from you. Take it because you had something about stealing or taking from you. You get to you get knowledge of maybe that this lover that you want is not, um, maybe not for you. It's fake, falsehood. Yeah, you get, you get to see the, you get knowledge of the unresolved issues, maybe with a mother or being a mother, a mother figure. Unresolved issues in a love relationship also. You get to see why it didn't work. Prison. You get to see that somebody's created it. Oh, wow. So some of you have mom issues. Like, you don't even know that your mom is in your own personal little mental prison about what has happened to child, mother and child. You don't even see that they're not exactly happy. Because people get... Very used to, you know, showing what they want to show. Look at social media. Yeah, you have some conversation and you get expressed knowledge about it. We just saw that too. Like you see something differently. Wow, sweetheart. So now you get a chance to empathy, sympathy. You see something differently. Wow, you get to heal, doctor. Maybe even talk to someone, volunteer your emotions, have a conversation that provides healing, that provides bandage, band-aid in regards to where you spend a lot of time or where you spent a lot of time or going back to a house or a home. Um, I'm hearing like a back to your roots or something about mother and child also, mother, children, roots, stability. And then also, um, you get to have some conversation with mom. It opens some different, like, opportunity for you. Some place that is prepared for you. Somebody makes room for you in their home or house. Someone wants to heal or heal something. Now you have hope for the future. That things are going to get better. Things will get better. Wow, things will get better. The child card. There'll be a new start. Innocence. Wow. And something that you thought. That something that turned out. That started horribly. Turns out actually like beautiful with the surprise card so yeah it could be have something to do with love 
love for self. So you got like a lot of cards of love, devotion. Um, you can order some of my heart chakra love um, pre-rolls, okay? So it has uh, all natural herbs, mugwort, calendula, and some other things. I won't tell you, um, but it's all from the earth. Um, you can, of course, you smoke these, and um, it's for those who are smokers also. Um, I'm not really a smoker, but it definitely um, it allows for like the healing vibration to happen, you know, within your heart. And you can do like meditation, you know, smoke it before, after, and then also get on um, like a pink candle. I do have those on the website also. They come kind of loaded with stuff in it. Um, Rose, it's also in that too. So yeah, um, I'll link it below. But it's like somebody you need to do some deep healing. You've allowed for something to take residence. This one to show his face. The Lord. This talks about like a landlord or somebody who's a homeowner or something like that. You've allowed for something or someone something to take residence in your heart and your mind far too long, and you need to heal this priest. You need to let it go. You need to talk to somebody about it. Some of you have been carrying this burden of just... You've been serving the grudge. The grudge hasn't been serving you. Alright, let's leave Aquarius with some messages. What's the advice? You get a new life. Like you gotta activate some type of conversation. Um, King of Wands, Knight of Swords, Knight of Wands, Diamond, Eyes, Horses. So you got some fast action. There could be argument about what was real and what was fake, right? What really happened. Don't argue the semantics and don't even allow yourself to be gaslit by somebody here. Uh, King of Wands or somebody who wants to take the position of uh, this is a person who's very prideful. They cannot apologize. It's hard for this person to apologize. Even when they know they're wrong. Something that happened with somebody's eyes. Our eyes are always coming out. Or, oh, somebody could even be saying, you saw it. You saw the real thing. You or I saw what really happened. Or you saw it. Or somebody just will not admit it. They've kept the truth locked in this stable or truths several different truths locked in the stable for far too long it's like somebody wants somebody to admit and it um for if, if somebody was to admit some what really happened or some truth or what they saw it would allow for somebody to move forward when you let the horses out of the stable, they typically they will run free, right? Unless you they're trained and you you know anyway. So something about just let the truth out. Stop captive, holding the truth captive. This captivating story that didn't happen, like the lie, a, a lie. But you you know what's real. That maybe even somebody, because horses are valuable. Somebody took something that was valuable from you, inhaled it from you, put it in the stable. Somebody wants someone to admit like that um, they really don't like them. Real, really, real. Don't I see that you don't like me for whatever reason.
because of my attractiveness, because I'm because I'm smart, I'm capable. Let something run wild. You let me run wild, or you let me run wild. Oh, so this is like holding the truth, the real truth, holding it captive. You just let me believe a lie or let us run wild. You didn't take care of. There was no stable for your horses. For some of you is what you're saying to somebody. This is the real story. Somebody doesn't live in reality. You can't even have this conversation with this person because they don't live in reality. They've made up this, this world they live in. Um, there's no sense of trying to persuade them to to admit the truth what is real they don't see things eyes like you do somebody didn't value their child or children let me run wild let us run wild there was no stable you're not stable is what someone is saying you could even be saying this to like a Parental figure, King of Wands, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, doesn't have to be. Male, female. This is some deep stuff, Aquarius. So it's like, yeah, you're definitely going to like heal the past here so you can move forward. You might need like a mediator to be in the middle of this conversation. Wow, but it provides opportunity. Opportunity to build on firm foundation. To have real wealth. And, and wealth is also wealth of knowledge. What will you do with this truth that somebody's been holding captive? Whoa. <clears throat> wow. Has something to do with family, opportunity, transference of wealth. Tell me the truth about the money you took, the opportunity you took from me. Somebody feels like if that wouldn't have happened to me, I would have had a world of opportunity. The trajectory of my life would be different. If you cared for us, if you cared for me, if you nurtured me, if you weren't so selfish, I would, this would be my life. You didn't provide stability is what somebody is saying. Someone is saying, if I knew my family, if I was with my family, I would have stability. I was like a wild horse. I had no stable to run to. If I knew the truth, I had real, the knights are under the Hierophant's guidance. If I had real guidance, somebody's like, if I had guidance, this is where I would be. This is, somebody's got some real issues with somebody. If I had the money that you took, that you spent, I could have wealth. If I had guidance, if I had somebody actually caring about me, who had a stable place for me, I would be here. This is a testy relationship between you and somebody else. Could be a Libra involved. Libra could be involved some type of way. Instead of us having the real thing, we had this fake, this false, uh, falsehood. Because sometimes the Ten of Cups can talk about falsehood. 
you know, the stage is set for happiness. So it's a stage. If you get a stage, it's about performance, right? So somebody was performing, acting. Somebody wants to call a truce within a family dynamic, just wave the white flag. But somebody's like, I ain't waving nothing until I get the truth. So someone's stuck there. I need the truth. I need you to admit. If you would have provided stability, stability for me, I wouldn't have gotten taken advantage of. I wouldn't have had all these eyes on me. I wouldn't have had, I wouldn't have gone down this road. But this is going to take deep healing. Somebody's got a lot of anger, rage. Or maybe a Leo person or a feminine energy. Somebody who acted in selfishness. This talks about the performer, the stage performer. Somebody who used sexuality. Somebody tricked somebody. Made it seem like they had this, but they really had this. Someone made someone think that a child was theirs. And that they really cared. Somebody put somebody in a chaotic state of being, thinking. Somebody caused a lot of drama because in confusion, drama, confusion, chaos. The eights are about chaos, cycles, chaos magic. If I create if I were moving like this the entire time in the reading, in the tarot reading, and all the cards were like that, and I'm moving, it's chaotic. You, I, I can't get understanding from this lady. I don't, I'm, I'm clicking off now, you know, or some of you would try to stay with me, but you, it would just be chaotic, okay? You would be confused, and I could say anything. I could start talking fast. I can say anything. Um, I can manipulate. And this is what somebody was doing. Always doing something. Always keeping shit going. Keeping it up. Talking fast. Moving fast. Trying to persuade. Always lying. So the other person would be in a place of confusion. Convoluted is what I'm getting. You are... It was definitely a feminine energy. Casting illusion. Keeping secrets hidden. Alright, I'm going to leave it there, Aquarius. Get personal reading. Uh, readings are on sale. $25 um, for 10 minutes with me. I think it's going to go up to $35, but that's still a, a deal. Just because you have to pay all the, the uh, electronic processing fees for you to pay me. Um, anyhow... Um, yeah, get a personal reading. Some of you really need this. You need to heal the heart chakra. You can't manifest if your heart is heavy. Your heart has to be light as a feather. I'm going to link my heart chakra um, pre-roll. It's very nice. Very smooth. Also, get some candles. Start to create the vibe of healing. Venus, copper, get some copper around you. That's why I have Aquarius. Another long ass reading, but it's like y'all need it right now because it's like you won't heal. Oh, I was writing out a, a prayer for the Aquarius because I was just like, I'm tired of reading this shit. Um, let's see, did I finish the prayer? Let's see. I hope you say today. Okay. So, um, Archangel Shamiel is the Archangel for the Aquarius uh, Zodiac sign. You can call um, upon Archangel Shamiel to, for help to forgive. Um, especially those who have transgressed or done wrong to you. Um, so, I think I didn't finish writing it out. Maybe I'll just finish it and then I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll say it together. But anyway, you know that Archangel Shamio can help you forgive. You call upon Archangel uh, Shamio to give you the courage, okay? Because sometimes you need 
You need to be, you need to have courage to even forgive. You need to have gusto to go in there and uh, argue with these delusional people, right? All right, so yeah, I'll, I'll finish the prayer and then I will, maybe on the next reading, all right? So we'll, we'll start with that. So we'll open up with the prayer of, of forgiveness from to Archangel Shamiel. And you want to reach out to Archangel Shamiel on Tuesday. He governs the day of Tuesday. So I mean any day, but you know, strive to get it right. That's what my spirit got to tell Strive to get it right. Shit, strive to get it right. Stop just doing what you want to do. Strive to get it right. All right. So this is what I have for you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Again, $25 readings are on sale. Take advantage. I really, I never even like really, really stress it like that. I just say it like once, but some of y'all really, really need a little bit of clarity. Why not? You know, mm, you shouldn't be getting readings like often, often. Just get like a, you know, if you need clarity, get clarity and then start to take action. The worst thing is to get a reading and hang up with the person and do nothing, right? Um, get a reading. Get a reading, Aquarius. You got it. You can do this because greatness is on the other side of doing it. Um, shout out to all of the cities where I have high viewership. You know who you are. Let me know where you're viewing from. Um, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, join the KTNG. If you are a business-minded individual, if you're a business owner, you want to be around other business-minded individuals, you know, I'm shuffling that. Um, join the KTNG. Keep the momentum going. Monthly conference call where we talk all things business. Um, all things business in, uh, in terms of the spiritual and the practical. And if you just want to hop on a complimentary discovery call with me, um, you can do so. The link is below to see if I can be of assistance to you in your business endeavor. So it is about business. It's not about personal. You want a personal reading, you go to the website and you pay $25 or more um, and you get a personal reading. So don't get hung up on. Please don't book a discovery call talking about your personal life. Don't do it. I'm very, 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 very nice. But then I'm also very, 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 very stern. Please don't do it. Um, so anyhow, um, thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Uh, I will see you Thursday. So th every Thursday is a free question night. So I'll answer questions for free. Not this Thursday, but next Thursday. We'll have our Halloween party. So I'm going to come dressed in my costume. You should come dressed in yours also. Because... Um, you can hit that Zoom link. I can see you. You can see me. I'll answer your question for free. It's going to be fun. All right. So thank you. Take care. Many blessings to you.